Good evening, Asia. It's really good to be with you today. Uh, like I was saying earlier, today we get into the starting to get into the jest of what the gospel is. Now, when I start to, to unveil the gospel, there's going to be some things that you're going to see that is going to cause a little bit of a conflict within you. Hmm. And that conflict is a direct result of bad doctrine that we have permanently in our, our churches. There are many, many churches that are still teaching the law and there is no power in the law. Now, when I talk about the law, I'm talking about the Ten Commandments that Moses received from God. Uh, and the the expansion of those ten to six hundred and thirteen laws. Hmm. little Morning, Ken. <laughs> so today, because we still have the law in our Bibles, men go back to the law and they try to establish the religion based upon the law. Ten years ago, I was guilty of the same. I'm sorry. Ten years ago, I did the same thing. I I taught oh, I the law. <clears throat> now, today, if you have a pen, a highlighter, a pencil, we're, I'm going to ask you to highlight some things in your Bible. It's okay. You can write in your Bible. It's not sacrilegious. You can write in your Bible. Okay. It's very important that we have a solid biblical foundation to what we stand on. Now, last week, we ended in verse 20. 
of chapter 3. And we're going to read that again to keep everything in context. ชีอวุสโลอามาจอเวเลโกเวตางาโนญีวิโยเจชีอะคอนเท็กซ์โกเวนาเลอะคอนเท็กซ์โซเรฮากาจุนโนโรพัดดอมเมดิจัมปายเ
apart from that, not taking in consideration this part, but this other new covenant is where we see a righteousness of God. Ah. Now the, the law pointed to it. it, it was talking about Jesus, it was the prophets were prophesying about Jesus, so the law was actually giving witness that there was a new covenant coming. Now I want I want to go in the scriptures to the book of Acts just for a minute and let's look at what the the apostles talked about about the law. First of all, let's go to Acts chapter 13. And we'll read verse 38 and 39. Setchi did you read both of them, Ali? Yes, yes. 38 and 39. 38 okay. and 39. Okay. In Christ, talking about in Christ, there is a forgiveness of sin. In verse 39, it says, and through him, Jesus, through him, to the one who believes, is freed from all things. Freed. Ah. And it goes on to say that you could not be free of these things by following the law. So, so religions that um, base all their doctrinal views upon the old law, they're still held in a captivity. They're not free. Hmm. Paul was preaching this gospel, and some of the Jews came down from Jerusalem, and they had a, a dis, they had a disagreement about what these new believers were supposed to be doing. John 
Unfortunately, there was even some apostles in Jerusalem that were still hanging on to the old law. Mm-hmm. So Paul and these, well, let's let's look at what the discussion was all about. It's in chapter 15, verse 1. So yeah, they're gonna teach in a baby. Could you please tell me verse? Verse one. Okay. Acts 15, 1. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're gonna teach in a eighty that can go to the Google Ota. You that mummy lo chevy chot the papa. Galale. No, who let Moshe be only Jovi K. Ogumushi Ogumashi. You go. Thai caught with a. So these men from Jerusalem said, you have to do, 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 do. You have to be circumcised mm. according to the law so that you can be saved. So this discussion got very heated, and so they finally came to a point where they said, we're going to go back to Jerusalem. And we're going to talk to the apostles and the elders about this issue. So they went back to Jerusalem and they sat in council with the elders and with the with the uh, the apostles. And present in this council was Peter. Peter was there. Peter, who had witnessed the baptism of the Holy Spirit coming upon the Gentiles after preaching about Jesus. Mm. And so we're going to read the words of Peter, and we'll read verses 8 and 9. In verse 8, he's talking about that, that meeting that was in Cornelius' house when the Gentiles received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So, Ali, would you read verse 8, 9, 10, and 11? Mm. Yo 
Yo ve tapato, yo hu ve ni ma ta to, yo da pi ke pi pe. Kete le, nga hu ve opu opi te pa ka, nga hu ka te ma, te ma ga ve te, te ma ga ve ta tu ta, ju le, ri sha ta lo ni tu, atomate, atomate o la wo, hu ve la ka ku, ta ta pi ve le. Ngau to yo hu ka shu shu, jo mo yi shu ve o bong ta pa to, je ti tae ko ga tu ve, ga tu ve ta, ngau hu yo ve yo, te petru ko pi ve yo, je. So Peter plainly says that why are you trying to put these people in bondage? that even our fathers and ourselves cannot bear up under that yoke of bondage. Ah. Petru ko chebe amma pato ngahve opu opi hoko ngahu atong ka tu magave ta magave ta tu henja ve chita. Amma pato yo okono ta tu opu chikete chebe le kule nani ve yo. Nani ko chebe. So whenever a church, a pastor, a religious organization is giving a bunch of rules and regulations based upon the law, what they're doing is they're putting a yoke, a bondage around the people. There will be no success. There will be no freedom. People will start to be discouraged and many will fall from the faith. Ah. Okay, they will be able to do that. 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 You must make a decision to be of the law or be of Christ, of faith. Paul says that if you break one of the laws, you like you broke them all. Ah, ชาวบอลูชิเกโกเวเมอลิโตโคติชิมาโคโลติมาเจโนเตยาเวโกเลคาปุยทาเตยาเวคาชิชุเปเวเมเจ so the law results in guilt. You become guilty, and that guilt is upon you, and you cannot be free from it. Mm. But because we have churches and not synagogues, there is a preaching of Jesus that accompanies the preaching of the old law. Ah. So the preachers, they see in the New Testament, that there is a, a, an answer, which is Christ Jesus, but they preach it like it is a, a far distant reality. Ah. Yes, there's an answer in Christ, but you must do this. Yes, there's an answer in Christ, but you must fast and you must 
badly treat your body and you must do this and you must do that. You must pray for 40 days. You must do all these things so that you can get Christ. Ah, Jomo Shukri Kolochevi to go yo. Yaka, no, no, Miguko Chavi, but I'm not chicka chicka gate to be yo. Le, no chicka gate to be, chicka gata to pon no ranga mutu be. Chia patole no Jomo Shukri got to be cole. Or tie chicka 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 chobe me cole. Ma with the chicho tablo to you. Salvation is not by doing the works of the law. Salvation is by believing with all of your heart what Jesus has accomplished for you. Okay. Going back to Romans chapter three, it says, now apart from the law, please, please remove the law from your, your mind just for a little bit so we can talk about this new righteousness. Uh, but now, apart from the law, the righteousness, the righteousness, not a righteousness, the righteousness of God has been, has been manifested. It is here. It is now. It is present. And it is the only righteousness of God. Ah, we shall love it, righteousness, Okay. I'm, 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 I'm hearing you use the word righteousness in English. Okay. So let's define righteousness. Righteousness. Righteousness is being right standing before God. When he looks at you, he sees you correctly in a position of total uh, acceptance to him. Ah, righteousness righteousness Okay, through faith in Christ Jesus for all those who believe. Yesu Krita Kayo Vichokapwile, Yon Vipato, Ushavi, Tevi, Chovi, Ochita, Yohu, Gavi, Yu, Oloko, Pudaku, Macho. Here's the difference between the two covenants one is do, the other one is belief. Ah, Kati Sacha or Sole or Pigunale. I'm sorry. Okay.
verse 23. For all, there is no distinction. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Uh, the law has done that. The law has established a standard and we have fallen short of that standard. We have all sinned. There's there's everyone, everyone has sinned. See, that's what the law does. It shows us where we do not measure up to God's holiness. And some people, they need to understand that they're not holy and that they're, they're not measuring up to the holiness of God. So the law does have a purpose. And we must realize that we're all sinners. We, we all are. There is not one. Not Buddha, not Muhammad, not anyone but Christ um, was the righteousness of God. They were not. He was. <laughs> Verse 23, uh, no, 24, 20, 24, 24, 24. Okay, now we're talking about a gift. God is giving you a gift. Ah, a gift. 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 A so I, I've got a gift here for you. I want you to receive it. I want you to hold your hands out like this. <laughs> God has the gift, and now he, he, gives it to you. What, your, what is your part? Receive. Receive what he is giving. If you don't Put your hands out to receive, you're not going to get it. Okay, so now what is this gift? What is this gift? Justification. Justification go with your dark cave, take over it, whichever you. Justification of Bamalu, Bamalu Chile, comma. Justification, 
When I was in Bible school, they said to me, justification is a position as just as if you had never sinned. I'm sorry, I missed some of the words. Okay, it means just as if you had never sinned in your entire life. Ah, justification go with sukucho. Le, we shall be loving last or justification go with your. Le, yo, le, pucho, and colo, le, le, puhi, vetian, ta, yo, kake, a he, le, kuku. Le, poika, vimba, mati, jovi, chota. Go check your day. Tai Wei, you went to Bible school. What was your definition of justification? Uh, could you please give me just one second? Oh, sure. Uh, so that is justification. So that is less on to no pity. Ha ha. Uh, that dom at the karma up in my low pool that Lulu Mio Payata King at Tama Pira. And I would justification of Kora Pete. Deeper, I leave or no. Tane calling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Tell me. Okay. Exactly the same thing that you you just uh, refer to. It's just as I have never seen before. Ah. Justification, yeah. So we got check out your thing. Ah, hey, So justification could be your tip work. I will not take your job. It's just a level of Anything else you wanted to add, Tommy? Uh. Not not at this moment. I, I did have it before, but I it kind of slipped my, my mind. But <laughs> okay. I, I do that too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's come with age. <laughs> yes. All right, we're in verse 24 now. Justification. Yes. Justification is a gift. It's free. It's given and to you. Justification could be you didn't do anything to deserve it. It's not found in the striving to obey the law. Justification isn't found there. Justification is a gift through faith in Jesus Christ. Justification Belief and faith go hand in hand. Mm. Yove belief go with your Yove go in Ali. Now Taku Malata, Taku Malata, Yove let no colo Jove, Yove the Chi, Chi Rapoda with you. Salako with you belief go with your Totiranga, Tota Lavetianta, Yoko with Tokota, and who you Verse 24, we're still here. Being justified as a gift by his grace. It is by the, the grace that God pours out is where that justification is at. It comes directly from him. Hmm. Obong lao lao wili fukoko obong kuminali 
obon ko be chi grace ko be chi obon gala be tian tha obyo ko lo atuma pa be le ko ko che be cho be ko be justification cho pa be yo che mhm through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus redemption now We're still in verse 24. Yeah, verse 24. Being justified as a gift by his grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. Redemption. Redemption. Uh -huh. Redemption comes from the word redeemed, which has an idea of being rescued. Ah, redemption go be yo be tsuku chyo, tai ko lavi. And it all points to Jesus Christ, what he did, what he accomplished, what he established. Redemption kumito kocho, okale tai kovi cheti mahile, jo mo isu ngahu opo amati tavili, jo atumati leo pili. Redemption So we could say it like this. We could say it like this. Because of what Jesus accomplished, we now have grace. And that grace puts us in a place of just as if I'd never sinned. And it was freely given to me. Mm. Grace <laughs> Okay. Tawi, did you remember what you were going to say? <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I dig into this study a little bit. And then, you know, sin needs to be dealt with. And mm -hmm. God, it's sin needs to be punished. And... Mm -hmm. uh, God did that. He emptied his wrath, his punishment on Jesus when Jesus hung on the cross. Now, when we relating to God, uh, he, you know, he doesn't see our sin anymore. But should, if we believe in Jesus, we go through him to Jesus. We, that's why we, we he see us as, just as we never sinned before because he are, Sin is no longer the issue to God mm -hmm. because He already done, deal with, done with, punish, finish on the cross. That's how I see how I receive my revelation about this grace and justification. How important it is that I need the Lord to have a fellowship and relationship with God. Jesus mm -hmm. is the only one. Okay, no. Ali's got to translate all that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, 
ngai Thank you, <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Never mind. Did you have anything else? I, you know, I when I'm reading through this, you know, I've been gone through dating on my own, but this is almost the heart of the gospel right here, Romans 3, 21 and 22. You're exactly right. This is the heart of the gospel. 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 The heart of People have a hard time with this. Because they think, well, I've got to do. I've got to do. Do, do, do. And it's not that at all. This, 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 it means this, yes. You see how far we have come from the truth? Ah. If you have to chi 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 it's no longer a gift. It's wages. Ah, chite to be yo, chite to be yo, tai kobe taka to po chiga te be yo, kule chi 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 kule te be kule. Ya shuta kobe te be cho be da ke te cho be chi nga hu la soga to be o kama cho. Okay, we're talking about the redemption through Christ, what he did to rescue us, okay? Now, in verse 25, it says, go ahead. Okay. Whom God displayed publicly as a appropriation in his blood through faith. I wish I understood Lahu. I wish I knew that the translators were getting this right. Huh. Uh, 
joviote. But it says that God displayed Jesus as the appropriate uh, appropriation in his blood. The blood of Jesus is the key factor in the salvation of mankind. Hmm. Okay, the, the appropriation is the 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 uh, the object that is being sacrificed so that the uh, benefits of the blood could be had. Mm, okay. Appropriation is the thing. Uh, God displayed the thing, which is Jesus. Openly for, for all the public to see, he was displayed as the thing that was going to give his life as sacrifice. Ah, the blood of Jesus is what pays the debt. It absolutely uh, causes a change. Turn in your Bibles to the book of Leviticus. Leviticus, mm. Leviticus. Now we're going back to the law because Jesus had to complete the law. Jesus didn't abolish the law. He fulfilled the law. Hmm. And the, 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 the key is the payment, the payment of sin. Okay, Chapter 17, verse 11. If you don't have this underline your Bibles, underline this, this verse. Okay, what does it say? For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I, talking about God, I have given it to you on the altar, on the altar, to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood by reason of the life that makes atonement. Mm. <clears throat> อาชาเตเวอจุคัพวิเลออสุทปะโตติเชวิยูจีทปะโตฮือชาเลโชยะติปาวิวิมบะกาปุงตูออสุคัพวิเวทาตูตะกุคอลุเฮ้ยไม่
all of God's creation and everything that God created, there is only one thing, one thing that makes atonement for men's souls. What mm. is that one thing? Atonement means cleansing. Atonement means covering. Atonement means forgiveness. There's one thing, blood. Not water, not holy water, not anything else. Blood. Thus, in the old covenant, many animals died so that they could apply the blood of these animals to the altar. Mm. Sin offerings, wave offerings, all kinds of different offerings, people were reminded over and over and over and over again that they are guilty of sin. Ah. Oh, I send. I've got to present an offering. Oh, I'm and a couple of days later, oh, I sinned again. I got to present another offering. And it was always offerings because men were always sinning. Mm. Have you ever seen an old clock that's got the pendulum and it swings back and forth? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Well, this is what the life of the Old Testament is. Sin, sacrifice, sin, sacrifice, sin, sacrifice, sin, sacrifice. Oh, we nalia, lay or tato, and not the ma. You who lay colorful, you who move, you who yen, I must say. Take an aunt, old part of part, I say, or tanitima. Oh, it's your ma, you lay go go. The conscience of man was never cleansed. There was no power to cleanse the conscience. But Jesus, he had a very special blood. It 
if we did a, a DNA test of your blood, what could we find out? So, if we did a DNA test of your blood, what could we find out? So, if we did a DNA test of your blood, what could we find out? We could find out who your mother was, and we could find out who your father is. If they did a DNA testing of Jesus, what would they find? <laughs> they would find the DNA of his mother. Mm. But they would find another DNA that, oh, oh, DNA of God. God's blood flows through the veins of Jesus. A perfect, perfect blood without any condena or uh, contaminant. Bilo jabi oso pavio. No sin. No sin. When back much of it, that ke jabe also to be. That blood was put on the altar. Over also, total look. You can be you. Jesus passed through the heavens with his own blood. Jomo Yeshule. And he entered into a tabernacle that man did not make. God made that tabernacle. He entered into that tabernacle, which is in the third heaven, and he applied his blood to the mercy seat. Uh, and expiation is made forever. Past, present, and future. It is done with. Payment is paid. Boom, it's done. People that is the key to our salvation is that Jesus, by his blood, placed you in a place of justification, just as if you've never sinned before God. He did that. <laughs> We're out of time, uh, but I want to end. Is there any questions or any comments? No. No question. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are so encouraged, and we realize that we are not under the law. We are in Christ Jesus. If you can really come into that, it will completely set you free. Hmm. 
But you will identify when the law is being taught and try to put you back into slavery, you'll identify it. Mm. For those who Christ Jesus has set free are free indeed. Mm. This is a revelation. A revelation that needs to be received and understood. Mm. Ken, you have a hand up. Go ahead. เออยิสุเกตะยงทางะฮือนาติปอยกะมติยะเวชอคาสุจุวิมบะคะปุยทะซอบุซอเกลาเลปงลาเวติโกอานาระจาเลเฮวงานานิโคเจาะงะฮือ
he will accomplish that that work that he started. Ah, David gave you half foot and over at the car, column no aquam. Pile at Lee, Mojave or Jan, column no yole or chotte da vicole. Sit at your mardi to a pushakalati. But if you absolutely refuse the 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 work of the Holy Spirit because of a hardness of your heart, you are determined. I'm going to live my life against God. Well, then there's a warning for you. Hmm. Uh, we will not put Jesus to open shame. But I, I don't want to get there. I'm, I'm going to answer your question. The sin has been dealt with. Past, present, and future. You are forgiven. And do not allow that guilt to over, overcome you. If your conscience is saying something to you about changing, then you need to heed your conscience because that's where the Spirit of God is speaking to you. Okay, did that answer your question, Ken? No, no, love it. Okay, talk about love it. Chill, chill, love it. Chill, 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 chill. Abuja. Thank you so much. Exactly, it is. Yes, Tawi, did you have something? Yes, uh, I it relating to what Ken said. Uh, when we born again, we receive Jesus. Is our spirit that completely you can never be as forever acceptable to God? Is our mind, our flesh that need to be renewed? So, you know, in terms of you, the real you, your spirit is totally accept to God. The mind, the soul, the thinking, in the body that need to be in line with our born again spirit. So, you know, your spirit is completely acceptable to God. We all of us have to deal with, with sin from time to time because we do not renewing our mind because we allow the world to is saturating our thinking that's why we need to stay and renewing our mind so that our mind will be in line with the spirit, the born again spirit. So we are three part, spirit, soul, and body. So yeah. the, the soul and the body still need to be processed. Yes. ไล่ไทคอเวตะกะปูยะกะงะฮาสะติเชวิเตียนทาเตปุเตยะปุเตยะงะวิมปะเตปุเวยวิมปะเตปุเวจอมะปะตอเลงะฮุออโตญิมะ